Hey everybody, welcome back to Awaken Geek Them. Time for another haul video. This time we're kicking things off with some manga action. Here we have Magi Volume 3. Really excited to continue this series. I love the show and can't wait to read the whole thing. Uh, here we have Rumiko Takahashi's Maison Ikoku Volume 4. I'm so excited to collect this series. And now with four volumes, I can start doing a proper reading of this series and hopefully make a cool video for you guys talking about this wonderful rom-com. Continuing my haulage of Vinland Saga, here we have book four. I just love how sturdy these hardcovers are, and the art is just breathtaking. And I believe this covers, or the anime, the first season covers up to uh, volume four. So I'm excited to go beyond that and read some new material for Vinland Saga. You might remember that I've been collecting the Gantz Omnibus editions and I've been missing volume two for a while now. This was ordered back in April and it's been out of stock forever. Finally, it went back into print in stock as well and they shipped it out and I finally grabbed it so I can, you know, continue my read through of Gantz. I'm a huge fan of all things folklore and Japanese uh, history, as well as yokai and all that wonderful creepy stuff, so I had to do it. it it's a shame that it was not on my library. Here is uh, Shigeru Mizuki's classic, Kitaro. Here we have the first uh, of the recently released smaller volumes. Uh, this one is the first one, titled The Birth of Kitaro. Switching over to the anime side of things, here we have the Blu-ray for the complete collection of Dororo from Studio Bappa. Yes, they've done work before this, but this is uh, this series is sort of what made them that household name that now every weeb is out there, uh, you know, preaching about MAPPA and their animation and all that stuff. Here we have Abare Ranman, one of my favorite series from last year. I really enjoy this uh, samurai meets wacky races uh, in the 18th century uh, Wild West, if you will. Here we have Wave Listen to Me, the complete season, which I hate when they do that because I think we're not going to get another adaptation. But the way it ended, it, it ends just fine, in my opinion, even though the manga um, is a lot longer and it's still being published as of this recording. I even made a review on it if you guys want to check it out on this very channel. Moving on to some collected editions, comic book wise, I picked up Godzilla Unnatural Disasters, basically a three-in-one uh, collection or reprint by IDW, taking three famous storylines and bundling them up together in one chunky trade. Deja Thoris, Gardens of Mars. This isn't something that I would have picked up right away, but I wanted to check out one of the modern comics to see what all the fuss is about, and I dig it. It's fun. It's a fun action-packed uh, storyline. From DC Comics, my favorite DC hero, it is of course Aquaman. This is Deep Dives, basically a collection of post-rebirth uh, minis that were released, including the Walmart Giant issues. Batman Earth 1 Volume 3, finishing off that trilogy, although from what I've heard, I haven't read this yet, uh, there is hints of a fourth volume. And I forgot to record some B footage, but enjoy the cover for the TMNT Turtles uh, IDW Collection Volume 13, which is the last one before the reboot or relaunch of the series. A great, fantastic series, in my opinion, the best interpretation of the Turtles so far. Over on the movie side of things, I've been building a kaiju shelf, which you will kind of see uh, in a few, but I picked up Godzilla vs. Biollante. I've talked about this in streams before. This uh, DVD and the Blu-ray were super expensive, and finally, I don't know what happened, maybe they found a pallet of unsold copies or something like that, that all of a sudden, at least the DVDs uh, lowered in price from the $80 range down to like normal, like 18 bucks, which is what I paid. Next up, I decided to expand my uh, Asian cinema section of my movie shelf and started picking up random films on Blu-ray that I've missed throughout the years. I remember when this came out from Funimation and it really piqued my interest because it sort of plays on the uh, tropes and uh, history of Satoichi. And I was really interested but forgot to pick up Ichi. 
Next up, another classic movie. Here we have Battle Royale. I've seen this many times, but I never owned it until now. Uh, the only reason I didn't get the pretty box set is that it is super out of print and expensive online from Arrow. Yes, I jumped on the summer sale for some Criterion Blu-rays and Arrow and all that stuff. Uh, some of it arrived, others uh, did not for this video, but here we have Yojimbo and Sanjuro from Akira Kurosawa. Jumping into the uh, Takashi Miike's extensive filmography, I I'm not going to collect every single thing, but just random movies that interest me. Here we have First Love and The Great Yokai War. When I talked about Kitaro earlier, I mentioned that I'm a huge fan of that stuff and I decided to pick this up. And as soon as I ordered it, a couple weeks after, we got the announcement that they're putting out, uh, Arrow's putting out the <laughs> Yokai Monsters uh, collection on Blu-ray, including this thing. So you get the old trilogy and this uh, reimagining. Uh, nonetheless, the great Yokai War. Uh, looking forward to watching this and, uh, I don't know, maybe make a video on it, who knows? Another one for my kaiju shelf, I had to do it. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of King Kong, I wanted to pick up the Japanese side of things when it came uh, to the giant ape. So I picked up the classic King Kong Escapes. And I had to. Even though I watched it on HBO Max, um, yeah, it's, it's not my favorite in the MonsterVerse lineup. But it's still fun to see these two iconic characters duking it out with modern effects. From Tomo Uchida, we have the classic, the gorgeous Mad Fox movie. This is something that has piqued my interest for a long time. I've never watched it. And in the beautiful expression of colors and sort of bringing this play to life. And it's just a beautiful experiment in cinema. And it looks gorgeous. So I went ahead and picked it up as part of the uh, Blu-ray sale. Another of Takashi Miike's uh, classics that everybody should know about. I've seen this already, but I, again, I didn't own it uh, physically. It is Audition. And the less you know about this movie, the better. Seriously, go watch it. Uh, this was a recommendation from a friend of mine. I've, uh, I'm not a huge fan of crime movies or like gangsters or uh, Yakuza or whatever it may be, but it's so stylish. It's so cool. And I watched extensive reviews and trailers. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll follow through with that recommendation and pick up the uh, classic Tokyo Drifter. Next up, an ultra violent, gorish, zombie, action flick uh this is versus and i gotta say i'm really impressed by arrow releases i've always been curious about them and uh, uh, owning now a couple of sets i, I get it I, I get the hype <laughs> this i love that it's basically a spoof and a cheesy parody on purpose on all things kaiju and yet i love looking at reviewers who don't understand this fact and they're upset about the movie i'm like y you don't y you're not getting it <laughs> <laughs> Death Kappa is something else. It's so wacky and dumb. I absolutely love it. And honestly, this all leads into the big experiment. I, I was going to do a separate video on it. Uh, who knows? Uh, maybe I'll do it. Uh, I got myself a new Kalax shelf that I plan to just use as uh, sort of my Asian cinema you know, like uh, the couple of thrillers and action movies and, and uh, gangster flicks and stuff like that that pique my interest. Of course, kaiju movies, uh, Asian cinema that's not available on Blu-ray that I can get on DVD that's going to go on there. Anime films like the Studio Ghibli and, and etc. All that is going to be here. So I'm really excited. It's already looking pretty awesome. I love this shelf and I'm excited to add more uh, to it. Switching over to the video game side of things because you know I like to uh, collect for the Switch. That's what I'm actively collecting when it comes to video games. I got myself Tales of Vesperia, uh, the Switch version. I uh, have not started playing this. I need to get through some other stuff first before I you know go uh deep onto the jrpg stuff because i know that's gonna take forever to uh finish 
Uh, from Limited Run, I picked up No More Heroes 1 and 2. Now here's the thing, No More Heroes number 1, I played on the Wii when it came out from a friend's copy. Lent it to me and I played a good chunk of it back in the day. And that was fun, but I, I never grabbed the copy for myself. And when the second one came out, I totally forgot about that stuff and never played it. So now I'm excited to go back and replay all of uh, No More Heroes 1 and then jump into the second one. And of course, as of this video, uh, number three is a couple weeks away. So we'll have the full trilogy. And that is really awesome to have that on the Nintendo Switch. Monster Hunter Stories 2. Um, I didn't play the 3DS version, the first game, but I'm excited nonetheless to check this out. I I'm not a huge fan of the Monster Hunter series. I've only played two games, and um, it's, it's not my thing. But with this, I love the uh, RPG aspect with like some <laughs> Pokemon mechanics with the little monsters and all that stuff. So yes, I'm excited. I love the visual art style. So yeah, this is more up my alley, I guess. So we'll see how that turns out. And you know, third time's a charm when it comes to yokai. I picked up Yokai Watch on the 3DS. This was $10 factory sealed. It's an old 3DS game. I understand that. And I when when that came out, I was one of those nerds that thought this is a, a imitation on all things Pokemon and it's going to fail. But you don't have to look at it like that. It's it's its own thing befriending and, and catching and, and fighting and all that stuff with the yokai monsters. And yeah, I'm sort of on this hype train when it comes to that specific topic of yokai. And I'm really excited to uh, own the game. This is Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. Of course, these were the PS3 era Ninja Gaiden games. I had to pick them up from PlayAsia because they are... Um, they didn't get a physical release in North America. So that sucks. So, yeah, went ahead and picked up um, the games through that site, and I've been really enjoying playing them. Last but not least, here we have The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I'm a huge fan of the Ace Attorney series. Obviously, I have not played Chronicles, but nonetheless, I'm super excited. This is my type of jam. I've been, uh, you know, getting into the visual uh, novel type games and all that stuff so I'm excited to play through this and hopefully make a review on my gaming channel that is Geo's Arcade here on YouTube. All right, so that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to another haul video. It's been fun. It's been real. Uh, the channel is going through some changes, as you can see. So I will be making uh, an announcement or a live stream about it uh, after this haul video. If you want me to review a specific product, an anime or manga, stuff like that, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you, everybody, for liking, commenting, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom. As always, stay safe out there. God bless. I will catch all of you on our next video.